On this episode, I want to talk about two particular subjects. One of a woman that got shot a few days back. One of you guys actually alert me uh, about it down in the comment section of a previous video and said, Ricky, have you seen this particular story of this woman that got shot? Uh, it was such a, a silly thing that actually happened that this man just shot this woman. But I also want to talk about a story that comes from, the, uh, from Cape Town. Uh, of a pastor that got shot by an ex-member. I uh, did kind of see how the Zimoja article actually came out speaking about it and I want to connect these particular two things into one or these particular things into one particular subject. Now, before I get over there, let's do this video proper. It's the actuality show. The daily Christian commentary videos. If it's your first time over here, be sure. Check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments and I'm going to check you out over there. And so, First off, uh, the story of Sonia. Now, as I mentioned that one of you guys actually alerted me to that story in a recent, I think it was the video that I did speaking about uh, the, 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 what, what, what was that thing? I, I just forgot the, the particular subject. But there was a situation that I reported about that was um, outside South Africa. And so somebody said, hey, Ricky, have you seen the story in the U.S.? And so I watched the video and nothing stuck out. But then, um, I think Tamara then saw the video, the, the comment, looked for the video, listened to the video, and then told me about the video. Then I was like, how did I not see that actually out of the video? And so this lady, I don't know if the police were there to do a check of some sort, and before you knew it, the police over here, who had his cam, who had his camera switched off, ended up shooting this woman. Now, you see the early parts of the video, they were sitting down, she was sitting down, and uh, they told her to go and switch off whatever, whatever was on the stove. So when she got there, there was hot water, and then the policeman then said that he, he claimed that he thought she was going to throw the water on him. Now, that very same guy then went out to plead not guilty to this particular charges, which is pretty wild because the woman didn't pose any threat. And by the time when he shot, she didn't have a... Anyways, this, it's a whole story around that. You can actually go out and check that out. As you can see, what to search for up there, Sonia Messi. And so that whole story came up. But then, early in the morning today, I saw a little bit of an update on a story. And I saw this on the Daily Sun, actually. Uh, I saw the story on the Daily Sun, and they were speaking about this church. And if you don't know this church, this is the Church of St. John. And so, the Church of St. John had a pastor who, who was shot over there. Uh, and... This particular article was kind of like reporting on that. So I went in to read on it and this happened in the area of Cape Town, as you may see. And so uh, they, they did kind of like go out to, to kind of like link up the, 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 this particular whole story and whatnot. This was posted roughly about the, the, the 29th of July. Uh, and so, but the, the article that was posted on the 30th on Zimoja was the one that really caught my attention because they say it's the close friend who's been arrested concerning the murder of this particular pastor. Wow. All right. So if you go back into that article, the, the, the Zimoja article, they say that uh, a man was arrested after he confessed to hiring Inkab or, uh, or, or Hitman. How do, you even, how do you even get to a position where you're even knowing about where to get a hitman? When, when you are at that point, when you are now consulting where to get hitman, you must know your heart is completely corrupt. Cor completely. You are, you are way over there. You are way over there. When you're now in a position where you're now consulting, where can I find a hitman? Who are you even asking about such things? See? I will... Uh, to kill to kill his best friend, I, I doubt that. Friends, friends are a scam. <laughs> friends are a scam. Who was a pastor 
Pastor uh, Pastor Peter uh, Dina was a Saint John Apostolic Church uh, in uh, in Fulane in Cape Town and Western Cape, and then he was shot and killed on Friday evening uh, after people asked for prayer. Imagine they had to fake even the reason why they were there in order to. Yay. A confession. Where does the confession come up? Uh, it is alleged that um, the friend um, later confessed to the pastor's murder. Uh, the police discovered threatening text messages from Dia. Uh, it says ex church member on the Daily Sun. So I'm guessing he was a member of this particular church. And so, according to the church member who uh, did. Uh, who didn't want to be named uh, it looks like they had some type of issues between them and uh, the article actually goes just goes into a little bit more detail you can go and check the article on Simoja to kind of see that whole thing so the thing that I saw I was looking at between this particular two stories why I wanted to kind of like just speak about them as one thing is because of a verse that comes from Second Thessalonians, and that particular verse is this one right here. It says Second uh, Thessalonians chapter number three. It says, "Finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may spread quickly and be heard in honor, and just as it was with you." So the same reverence that you guys got to actually share with us in the word. We hope that the word of God would spread with that very same energy, with that very same appreciation for it and stuff like that. And mm, this part right here. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. And uh, for not everyone holds to the faith. Now, that particular statement, I think we spoke about that when it, when it was in the discipleship. This idea of uh, to the faith or this idea that he's speaking about here when he says not everyone holds to the faith. Uh, it's just, it goes back to exactly what uh, uh, Paul said about himself. He said, I have rendered, I have kept the faith. Meaning... I've kept there to the structure of what we believe doctrinally. I've abided by doctrinal by, by all disciplines in doctrine. I have looked at the scripture to inform how I dealt with everyone and how I walked in my journey. So he says, and pray for us that we may not be that we may be delivered. From wicked and evil men, for not every holds to the faith, meaning not everyone holds to sound doctrine biblically, not everyone holds to biblical morals the same way, not everyone is reasonable. Like the, 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 the King James here, the, the, the King James Bible, actually, on this one. Uh, whether it be New King James or, uh, uh, or or King James, they use this word uh, unreasonable and wicked man. This is the word that the King James uses. It says that we do not be that we be delivered from individuals who are beyond reasoning with. Like I said, when you are now at a point where you are consulting where to get a hitman, unreasonable. There's such a thing. You think about the situation with this cop. The lady doesn't pose any threats. He decides she's a threat. He he thinks out of nowhere she's just going to throw the water on him. Now, the thing about that video when you watch the thing which I missed, uh, which is why... So, when I watched the video at first, I was like, oh, okay, it's just a shooting, right? It's just a police shooting. I don't normally report things like that. But it was... The thing that actually triggered the man, which I completely missed at first. When I watched the video, I didn't see it. And then Tamara sent me a message later. And it's like, uh, she actually called me and said, I mean, did you see that video that the, the, the person in the comments said? 
I'm like, yeah, I watched the video, but I didn't see anything. She's like, no, you need to really check the video. Just check back the video because when you see the video, you'll see something else. And she said, it's like the name of Jesus provoked the man. And when you go back, I, when I went back and I'm like, what? How did I miss that? <laughs> and so I go there and I open the video and I'm checking and I'm like, wow. Because he, he is the one that said, hey man, looks like you want to pour me with that water. She didn't even bring that up. She was told to go switch off the water. She gets there. While she's doing that, he's the one that brings up the water thing. She's like, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. She's like, you're going to put an accusation on me? I rebuke that in Jesus' name. And it's the moment when she says that, that this guy just flips out and shoots him. Completely goes off. Off the wall. Unreasonable. Unreasonable. The moment she says, I rebuke that in Jesus' name, you, you're not going to put an accusation on me. In Jesus' name, the man just provokes. And I'm like, wow. Wow. And so, it's quite an interesting thing to, to see that the Bible does address this thing. The Bible does address, uh, we might encounter individuals that are at that particular position. Maybe pastors, whether it be the pastor even to deal with people that come think, uh, claiming to be dis, uh, wanting prayers, can't you know they are sent? The article goes to detail that the Zimoja article goes to detail. These guys didn't even run when they were living. No, I didn't, uh, that's why I'm referring to the uh, to the to the Zimoja one because that's the one that I read. And it says when they spoke to the people that knew, uh, that were that that were members of the church, they were able to. Say, this guys didn't even run. They just walked. Pray that we do not come into the hands or fall into the hands of unreasonable men. Very recently, End Time was arrested. Being Real George made a video showing uh, he was arrested and so forth. And so he's been released. What is it that causes things unreasonable individuals people that can be reasoned with or brought to reason why because not all hold to doctrinal morals that you would biblically and i thought that was quite an interesting one for us to see i mean we even spoke about this in discipleship sessions and we mentioned there is this thing to take note of because there are people you you cannot bring you cannot bring, when he says do not give what is only unto the dog. Uh -huh. There are people who, who treat truth as at that state, particularly discipleship. You know, people can be around church, <laughs> you know, and, and do that whole thing there. But when it comes to discipleship, you can't drag a person to discipleship because the person must want it themselves. Otherwise, they can even endanger you. Why? They become unreasonable at that point. And I thought this story, such an example of that whole thing. Sexuality show, keep watch. Because if the Bible is telling you, you know, this, in Thessalonians, Paul is saying, you know, pray for us because we got to deal with that. That tells you that it is something to clearly note. It's tricky. Other episodes down today, they'll be down in the pin comments and I'm going to check you out over there. Y'all tell me what you think and I'll see you later.